Anyway, Ryan, it's sausage or toss time. Are you ready? Uh, I am so ready. Are you? I ever when it is your duty for sauce it or toss it, which ha, which we alternate with. Uh, I look forward throughout the workday. I'll maybe go over to Google my Google Drive. I'm like, has he updated it? And it's like it's Christmas morning because our brains, although similar and pea brained and lizard brain, they work very different ways. So I'm always excited to hear what you have up, what you have in store for me. All right, Ryan, put that great cup lost behind you. <laughs> It is time for Sauce It or Toss It, Ryan. Number one, Tyler Myers will spend the remainder of his contract with the Canucks. Sauce It or Toss It? Toss It. Toss, 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 toss it. You think? We just, we've had a quiet, a very quiet Canucks weekend, and the only thing that's come out is that, not that a trade was vetoed or that a trade fell apart at the 11th hour. No, that a trade was discussed for, uh, oh, what is his name? Why am I why am I blanking on the guy from uh, Nikita Rush. Zaitsev? Yeah, Nikita Pardon? Zaitsev. Yeah, those were done. Yeah, uh, Nikita Zaitsev for for Myers, straight up no sweetener. And we've just heard the whole discourse is here's why uh, Tyler Myers is better than that. So he's got no cap money. He's got very little cap hit next year. Uh, all his bonuses are gone, and he's a right shot D. Um, he will be traded next year, and it'll be great. But it won't be there for that much. I am gonna love going to Canucks games if and when he's he's gone. Like I'm gonna buy a Tyler Myers jersey just because I want to get into like the conversations with with Canucks fans who are like, "You're wearing Tyler Myers jersey." I'm like, "Yeah, I'm also an arsonist." <laughs> yeah, you, did you drive here? Cool. Not anymore. Well, you ain't driving back. Yeah, you ain't driving back. Guess what? Skytrain's right there. Stadium Chinatown, baby. It'd be a shame if things blew up. Um, Ryan. How chaotic. The Russell Wilson trade will go down as the most lopsided trade in modern sports history. So this is not the Herschel Walker trade. I don't think that's that's not modern. But modern sports history. I would probably sauce it. You don't see a trade as lopsided and just like, stupid as what we're seeing in Den- with Denver and Seattle. You know, people will scoff at uh, Grandpa Lou for giving up Devin T- Devon Taves for a couple of seconds, and he's going to be a cornerstone with the avalanche. Deals like that are bad, but this is just chaotically dumb. They re-signed him uh, before he played a game with them, and he's on pace to sc- throw less than 14 touchdowns in a, an expanded 17-game season. And the Seattle Seahawks sh- will probably make the playoffs, and they'll probably have a top five, top ten pick. And he's gone, and Russ has just ruined, went from one, he ruined one franchise, and they rebuilt, and he's going to another one and, and ruining that. So it's insanely bad. Uh, sauce it very lopsided so i got a question for you just before we get to the next one just because i'm i know this hockey podcast but i'm genuinely curious how how good is this for the seattle seahawks in terms of like a rebuild is this like oh shit like is this like oh man this is the ottawa think the phil kessel trade the phil yeah sick it's exactly like the phil kessel trade where the team got better and they have this like oh we're gonna have a we, we're going to probably make the playoffs and have first-round picks because they bungled this. They were so short-sighted, and we need one thing. One thing will fix it. We'll give up anything to fix that one thing, and it didn't do it, and it made everything worse. That's right. <laughs> Ryan, if Marion Hosa has had his jersey retired, show, so should Kevin Bieksa. Let's be real. Sauce or toss it. Uh, toss it and Ooh. immediately, f- immediately following um, sauce it or toss it, we will move into uh, pucks on net pesky beefs because I am annoyed as hell about retired numbers this week. Oh, yeah, this was in the group chat and you were making a stink <clears throat> about it. <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll get into pesky beefs. Ryan, mm-hmm. are you ready for a wrestling one? Put the beer down. It is f- 6 p.m. All right, yeah, it's clobbering time. Ryan, CM Punk will return to the WWE by the end of 2023. 
Uh, big toss. What? Um, really? I thought you were uh, going to be a little chaotic and sauce this. If there's one thing I know about uh, Charles Montgomery Punk, it's he doesn't like a lot of people. And if there's one person he especially doesn't like, it's Triple H. And hey, unless, hey, hey, uh, he took the piss test. <laughs> well, come on now. Hey, you know, unless, uh, you know, you had the best match in Mania. <laughs> you know, why wasn't on last? And even if Triple H is like, hey, you can beat me clean in the ring three times at WrestleMania, each of them the main events, and I'm gonna pay you ten million dollars. Punk still wouldn't do it. What? He's coming back. He's coming back to AEW. It's all. It's all. A you mean brother. if they had a storyline <clears throat> in which Stephanie leaves Hunter for CM Punk, and in <laughs> in the main event of WrestleMania, CM Punk defeats Triple H in twenty seconds. And then proceeds to procreate with Stephanie in the middle of the ring. You're telling me there's no way that he would do that? Get out of here. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it, the, I just turned WWE what into a it? Lars von Trier movie. Come on. <laughs> That's going to work for me, Maybe. Bro. Maybe. Okay. But he'll be in the AW, but he'll be at AW no, again. Won't. Really? Oh, yeah. I don't know. There's too much money to be made there. And if he was like if he to was, do an elite uh, thing with C, like just elite and CM Punk, like who who would it, I thought everyone hates everybody. CM Punk? Who would be on CM Punk's corner? I don't know who. He's a lone wolf, brother. So what are they gonna do? Six on one, Young Bucks and Kenny, and there's like super kicking CM Punk. Like CM Punk isn't Brock Lesnar. He can't just go in there and just <laughs> CM Punk's like I'm old as fuck. <laughs> I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I'm tired. I've been here for two minutes. I work with children. I work with children. It's bullshit. I don't want to do this anymore. I came back so I could shepherd young people, but the young people are stupid. <laughs> I became everything I ever hated. Um, <laughs> Ryan, by the end of his career, Quinn Hughes will pass Henrik Sedin for all-time career assists. This is by the end of his career, not the end of his Canucks career. Uh, do you have, can I do you have the stats? Yeah, so I think off the top of my head, Henrik is at eight thirty. Yeah, and I believe that Quinn is. Let's see, da 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 da. I got it right da, here. Da, da, he's da, at da, da, he's da, da, at one sixty two. One sixty two, and he's twenty three yep. years old, and he just turned twenty three. Sauce it, he'll do it. That's gonna be pretty crazy, eh? It will. Um, people forget, like the Sedins had like f- three seriously difficult years you know finding their game at the beginning and, it was it was really yeah. tough yeah and people forget you would watch the Sedins just sitting around getting double shift or Bertuzzi double shift with them they'd take an obstruction holding call power play goal against like they did not figure it out um I mean when they did it was incredible but they had a handful of tough years and they didn't go in the NHL right away so uh, Quinn Hughes should do it because I don't see them drafting another Quinn Hughes anytime soon that can, uh, that's going to rival, you know, him in all of those key spots. So he'll take, he'll, he'll beat up Sausage. Yeah. I think Tyler Myers has a chance to kind of match him. <laughs> <but we'll see>. Um, <laughs> Ryan, the Canucks will be 500 by January 1st in time for the stretch run. Uh, well, based on my cal, my pet, put the calendar with- away. We've, we've already proven that it doesn't work. <laughs> You I can't. don't know how to read a calendar. I was just mesmerized by Oliver Ekman Larson's eyes. Uh, by January 1st, 500, I'll toss it. I, I still have no faith in the team. Um, faith no I more. like what I've seen. I have faith no more. Um, I like what I've seen, and I want this. I champion this team, and I want them to do well. But... There's like the sample size is not great, and they got three big games this week. Um, they got to play the Vegas twice. They got to play the defending cup champs, and then they got to see how many points they can prevent Eric Carlson from having. Things could drastically change in six days, so I am tossing that. Imagine if Jim Benning was still here, and he was like, "Oh, we were, that Carlson guy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's oh, what oh. Tyler Myers needs. <laughs> oh, oh, here I go trading again. You know, you can't tell me I'm wrong." Um, and as a fun one, Ryan, because yeah. I, I was trying to figure out fun little questions. Ryan, yeah. Jello is the superior dessert to pudding. Saucer toss it. Oh. 
Uh, yeah. I'll toss it. What? I'm a pudding fan. Oh. I like pudding. Why well, have pudding when you can have a chocolate? It's a chocolate bar. What other yeah. thing? What other thing resembles Jello that you could just have in a pickup form that you don't have to prepare? Uh, uh-huh. I don't dislike Jello, but I compare it to the fudgical versus popsicle debate. Oh, that is pretty good. Yeah, and uh, uh, Jello is great, but. For it to really slap, you got you got to get some whipped cream on that mother. You got to have a little balance, get a little creamsicle situation. Um, but I got to I got to toss it. Okay, that's fine. Well, now I know what we I'm have, making we for have, Christmas time. <laughs> I would like some of your Jello. Uh, this we have a listener. This was a, this <laughs> one. Uh, he, Alice, ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Shap just admitted he wants some of my Jello. Don't tell Katie and don't tell some, Amanda. Some, some could say that my milkshake brings all the shaps to the yard. You ain't wrong. He's, he ain't wrong, folks. He's not wrong and he's lactose intolerant, but he <laughs> drinks it anyway. I love it. It's great. Some people say I make the best milkshakes. Okay, you got to stop me before I go into Trump voice. Go. Okay, uh, listener sauce and toss it. This was slid into the DMs from uh, Alistair on Twitter. He's from Clearwater. Uh I'll ask you, Rash, because I just put my uh, spin on it. Yep. Canucks, sauce it or toss it. The next three, uh, the Canucks lose their next three and fall to six games below 500. Sauce it or toss it. So their next three is what? Vegas, Colorado, Twice. Vegas? Yeah. <laughs> um, You know, gang, not looking good. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, this team, the, like, they beat... They beat Colorado last year with a Yarrow Halak. So I, you know, um, um, you know what? No, I'm gonna toss it strictly because I believe in this team's inability, uh, this team's ability to be so random and unpredictable. 